Uh, it looks like they sent me a whole new uh, assembly here on the elliptical, which is the uh, main shaft and the bearings. And uh, you can see there's another bearing you put in right here. And it goes on this side. And what they are is they're pressed inside these brass inserts or steel inserts. Well, the guy came over and he looked at this and he saw they're a little bit chewed up inside there because the bearing went. But, you know, I honestly, I could see they're not really that bad, but they might be misaligned or something. But they sent me this thing and they sent me an extra set of bearings here. And I already disassembled this whole thing. You know, I cut the bearings off of it. I could press these bearings on it. I could put this wheel back on it. That means I have an extra assembly. And I ordered another pair of bearings besides that. But you know what they're giving me, besides I'm keeping this one, is a whole new machine. So I'll have two ellipticals, uh, one with the brand new parts in it, plus another set of rebuilt parts, and another set of bearings in case it goes. Because I can, uh, in other words, um, I'm going to be doing this working out two or three hours a day. Having two ellipticals and spare parts, I should be good to go for quite a while, but I'm probably going to get the extended warranty on this thing because, uh, you know, hey, I'm one person, though, so if I use it a lot, you know, I'm not abusing it. It's home use. It's not commercial use and all this other type of stuff. But uh, they got a very good warranty, and I'm going to try to make sure this doesn't break next time, but I didn't do nothing special to break it. And um, so I'm going to be putting this together. And uh, what I got here is just like to put in bearings. I'll show you how to do them is uh, use a pipe and a uh, little hammer like this. I always use this hammer. It's like a pure, I love that hammer. I use it on cars all the time. It's uh, no wooden handle. It's pure steel all the way through. And I use this very heavy pipe, which fits exactly on the bearing itself. It fits right over it. So I have various pipes. I've been doing this crap a while. And I like doing this shit, actually, to tell you the truth. Because uh, when you put something together, Usually it's better than what they even do from the factory. So, um, well, I put the elliptical back together again and with the new parts. And um, the guy came over and he took some pictures of the inner bushings where these bearings are pressed into, like in here. Um, so, what happens is, um, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's messed up. Their bushings were a little bit scored, a slight amount, but they, the bearings pressed in there nice. So I think it might have been the quality of the bearings or something was misaligned from the factory. That's what is broke. But uh, the new parts seem to be 100% fine. Now they sent a whole new assembly plus an extra set of bearings. So I'm going to rebuild the old assembly. And he's sending me a whole new unit. Because something else in here in the front broke on this thing here. Um, there was like an inner adjusting nut. And I, I kind of fixed it with, well, it's fixed basically with shims, but that's like, in other words, if you have to move this wheel in and out, you can't do it with the adjusting knife. You got to take it all out and use shims, but it works. So, but I got a whole other machine coming on this. So, uh, because this was actually frame damage inside there. So, but it seems to work okay. And um, I'm going to rebuild the other unit, the other assembly and um, go ahead and keep the extra set of bearings I have and I'll have two ellipticals with extra parts even so I should be able to work out a lot like I was, was doing before two or three hours so the frame itself on this thing looks solid as hell it doesn't look like it's ever going to break but uh, I'm probably going to go for a two more year warranty on this but with two of them I don't think I'm going to have a problem Yeah, I just put the um, bearing on here, basically hammered it down. Uh, it's a press fit, it goes on here. And, you know, I put a little grease. I used a hammer like this, big hammer, but just tap it lightly. And this is a very heavy pipe, which is a good size for this bearing. Now, the other bearing won't go on until you actually press this in. So this is going to be the, extra, this is the old unit that I'm just going to rebuild. And you can see it was all rubbing and torn up in here. But this is not where the bearing rides on or anything. It's this machine surface so it's probably not too bad actually who the hell knows 
because what, what, you know it just spins inside the bearing and these seem to press in there nice and tight so the only thing I have to do is install this, this, this uh, Woodruff key and then this goes on here slides over and then the nut goes on here then this whole assembly is readily to be installed so you tap this whole assembly in and you put the bearing in on this side press fit it in you hammer it in so that's it so I'm gonna have extra parts plus a brand new elliptical plus a fixed elliptical so that's good alright so this is all finished you know the uh, this was tapped on pressed on this is on there tight I just left the bolts on her to some Allen there's some Woodruff keys that go in here I have those and I left this loose this gets pressed on when the assembly goes on so if I break this again I got a rebuilt unit with new bearings all set to go plus the new unit so I just want to point out a lot of times you know when they have these elliptical equipment uh, don't buy the parts you know if it's out of warranty from the elliptical place you buy these bearings uh, they they don't use special fitness parts for everything the bearings are from like motorcycles and strand standard industrial bearings uh, as a matter of fact the belts and stuff in the machines with the um, you know on the treadmills and on the elliptical machines the belts you go to tractor supply house it has a number on there and if you don't know the number even if you don't know the number if you take the measurements the number of ribs and look at the picture the way the uh, pitch is on the ribs you can match it up there'll be a number on the belt and you'll pay like 10 15 bucks for a belt versus I don't know I saw Tontori try to charge $135 for a belt that I got for like 10 bucks from a tractor supply place so you know this stuff is not that complicated rocket science and you know I have the parts here which is the uh, snap ring which you know I put it in there and the uh, two uh, um, Woodruff keys that go on there for the uh, pedal arms so you know don't be afraid to go tackle something like this if you got some broken stuff do it that's what I do you know a lot of times you can fix just about anything. Anything is not that complicated.